Welcome to Entertain Club. Would you live in a house that was printed out? The very first 3D printed home in the Netherlands. Elise Lutz and Harry Deckers are retired shopkeepers who are touring their two bedroom concrete bungalow. The pair says they feel safe inside because it reminds them of a bunker. Their home was printed in 24 parts in a nearby factory before it was taken to a plot and assembled. Designers say the house is up to Dutch building standards and is the first of five in what they're calling Project Milestone. Even though 3D printing homes is a new concept, it's reportedly a way to cut costs, reduce the amount of cement used, and in the Netherlands, it provides another option where there is a shortage of experienced bricklayers. They say more sophisticated home designs are on the way, and that will make for some more environmentally sustainable homes. This is a simple recipe. They are called Samoa brownies. Add one cup of unsweetened shredded coconut. Pour in 3 fourths cup of sweetened condensed milk. Add 2 tablespoons of powdered sugar. Mix it all up. Microwave half cup and 2 tablespoons of unsalted butter with 1 cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. You can see that the chocolate is pretty much melted at this point. So you'll just want to keep stirring to incorporate the butter and the chocolate. Add 2 eggs and whisk them up. Add 3 fourths cup of sugar. We're gonna keep mixing for a couple minutes just to try to dissolve the sugar. This is important to get that crinkly top on the brownies. Add the chocolate mixture. Add one cup of all-purpose flour. Add fourth cup of cocoa powder. Add fourth teaspoon salt. Mix up your dry ingredients. Our dry ingredients and fold them into the wet ones. Pour half the batter into your pan. Spread it out so it's nice and smooth and even on the bottom. Add 16 chocolate caramel squares to your batter. Add your coconut mixture on top. Add a layer of chocolate mix on top. Now they're ready to bake. Put an oven that was preheated to 350 Fahrenheit. We're gonna let them cool in the pan until they're sturdy enough to take out. Cut into 16 caramel chocolate squares. The Big Squid is called Squid Station. It's 13 feet high and 29 feet long. It cost over $200,000, though it's a bargain at any price. It's meant to drive tourism and let people know about Noto squid fishing. And clearly, it's working. The world's most popular squid at the moment is Noto's. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you liked it and made you smile. See you soon.